Hey everyone, welcome to Tarantula Adventures, and today we're going to be rehousing my Canthoscuria geniculata, or the giant white knee. So the reason we're rehousing my uh, white knee is because it has just been in this little Tupperware container and I feel it deserves a proper enclosure. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so because this is an, a geniculata, they are very prone to being food aggressive. So I am expecting it, basically, to have an, uh, a response as soon as I touch it. It's going to pretty much go after this brush. That's why I got a bigger one with nice big bristles. Well, not big, but it's thicker than my normal one that I would use for my slings. So it's nice and soft if it does decide to uh, bite into it. Now... What I have here is its new enclosure. It is just a, um, in all honesty, it is just a shoe container that I got from the container store. Um, I'll put a link down below for it uh, if you're interested. The only downside with this is there's really nothing holding it down. So... For the time being, what I plan on doing is just putting some masking tape on this, you know, on the corners just to help hold it down until I can find a more permanent solution to for, you know, a clip. The just hold this down so it doesn't escape. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get this set up ready for it. Unfortunately, this is the only piece of cork bark that I had, but I'm pretty sure I can make it work. So, let's hop right into it. Now, the substrate I'm using currently is just this jungle mix, the Zilla jungle mix. You can get any pet store. And the reason I'm doing that is because the cocoa fiber I had, which I was going to actually mix in with this, started to mold. And I didn't realize that till about to shoot this video. And... Before I can make more, because I buy the dehydrated bricks, I'm just going to, you know, I got to wash out the container and all that and get it clean and sterile before I can make new bricks. So hopefully this doesn't happen again. So for now, jungle mix, it should be just fine. This, it, this species is native to Brazil, so it should help hold the, a bit more humidity than regular. So... I'm not too worried about it.
so as you probably just as you just saw, I had it set up, but I didn't like the depth because like it was down like here, maybe a little under half. And this is a <laughs> this is gonna be a big uh, spider. This is gonna be a big tarantula. They can get um, from what I've heard up to eight inches so we want to reduce the height it could possibly climb up to prevent uh, serious damage to it if it falls so that's why I went and added a bit more so you know what this time I am gonna put the water dish over here just cuz it'll make me happy we're gonna add the all right now we're gonna add the sphagnum moss again again to help with that humidity a bit of leaf litter all right let's put that and then And that corner down to help with humidity and now we will fill up the water dish now so satisfying all right everyone and now the main event oh, the lids you know I'll clean it up later it's fine now, what I'm hoping for is that it'll just go in, no issues, but, again, A. geniculatas have a renowned feeding response. So, I'm expecting to get jumped a little bit. <sighs> so please bear with me. Catch cup. Wouldn't lie if I said I wasn't nervous. Well, it didn't move, but this is. This is where the fun starts. You know what? I wonder if we can do it this way. Probably gonna get a either defensive posture or something. No. Ah! It kicked hairs. This is not gonna be easy. Come on, I know you don't want this any more than I do. Alright, how am I going to do this? Because I know if I poke it, it's going to attack the brush. Right, so that's what we'll do first. Hey, get your foot off that. Thank you. No, don't the water, old water dish. That's fine. Hey, 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 hey. You're kicking more hairs. I need you to...
We got it. Let's take a minute to appreciate this. As you can see, I am shaking a little bit, but it's not because of anything bad. It's more or less excitement. And oh, look at that baby. Look at that baby. All right. Well, hopefully putting it in its new home will be easier. So hopefully all I got to do is set this down since the lid for this is right here. Lift it up and hopefully it'll be on its merry way into the burrow. I made it. But we'll see. Starting to rub its booty. If you could stop that, that'd be great. So, what we'll do, we'll put the light like, right here. Do that for now. And <sighs> at least it's in. Now, all I gotta do is push it off, get that out, and we'll be good. I think for that, uh, that could create too big of an opening. Let's get the a smaller one, shall we? Smaller, smaller brush, but still nice thick bristle. So if it does bite it, at least it won't be terrible. Now, all we want to do is coax it. I want to say her, but I don't know if it's a her yet. So all we're going to do is coax this one off, and I'm expecting a feeding response. You're being very good for now. Well, four by four mode, huh? Ah, kicking the hairs. Oh, don't even think about it. Fight me, nerd. I dare you. Don't even think about it. You're a gorgeous specimen. Yes, you are. But I need you off of that. It can't be part of your enclosure. All right, I'm sorry to tell you that. Hey, let's see. Hey, beautiful one. You need to get off that lid for me, huh? Oh, you are a gorgeous specimen. Uh, yeah, I see that nice big booty, but I do need you to get off, okay? Can, can you do that for me? No, it's mine. Nice. It can't be part of your enclosure. I'm sorry, but no. We're probably going to get a uh, threat posture here. Hey. Hey. Ah! Sorry. Oh, there it is. We got a threat posture from you, huh? You're giving me a threat posture, little one. You're giving me a little threat posture. Let's see, can we get those fangs? Oh, yeah, look at that. 
Mm, those fangs, she may not be, I don't know why I keep saying she. You're about to catch these fangs if you ain't careful, son. Uh, she, it may not be a mature adult, but those fang, fangs will still hurt. Whew. All right, you know what? Oh, God, you are pretty. Making me a little nervous, but you are pretty. God, you're gorgeous. So beautiful. That's what we're gonna do. And leave her alone, let her, let it get, let her. Why do I keep saying her? Let it get acclimated to its new enclosure. A better one, in my opinion, compared to this thing. I don't know what I was thinking when I put it in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I would drop in a cricket for you, but maybe tomorrow. Love you. Sorry, I'm getting weird. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed me rehousing my Acanthoscuria geniculata. Like I said, I will remove that lid once, you know, she is off. Why do I keep saying she? When it is off of it, possibly in its burrow that I made it, hopefully it uses it. Rip that out. And tomorrow, it'll get some nice, big, juicy crickets. Probably two. And, uh, yeah. So... Hit that like button if you like what you've seen. Consider subscribing for more content in the future. Leave me a comment about your Acanthoscuria geniculata if you have one. If you don't, say, hey, leave me a comment telling me if you would like this species. But I'm more curious to find out how your guys' uh, geniculatas behave. So let me know. And until next time, love the tarantula.